I will present some of the work of the Depression Project at the Ackerman Institute. We began this project to address this serious omission of gender differences in the understanding and treatment of depression. But first, what is depression? Depression is universally described as a profound disturbance of mood connected with a negative view of one's self-image. People suffering from depression use terms such as lack of self-esteem, self-loathing, low self-image, and feelings of worthlessness to describe their experience of themselves. Yet it is impossible to separate one's self-esteem from one's image of oneself as a man or woman. Self-esteem doesn't exist in a vacuum, but instead in a relational and social context. Men and women assess and maintain their self-esteem in different ways. Men's self-esteem is highly performance-oriented, having to do with work, achievement, sexual performance, money, status, hierarchy, competition, being in the expert position in the outside world. For women, self-esteem is built largely around issues of relatedness, emotional connection, intimacy, and cooperation. The following gender mandates predispose both men and women to depression. For women, the prohibition against self-assertion and independence, the need to please others, inhibit their anger, put their own needs second, take excessive responsibility for the physical and emotional well-being of others, and the propensity to accept blame. For men, the preoccupation with achievement and performance, the pressure to compete in the work world, the denial of feelings of weakness or vulnerability, and the need to be in the expert position. A key research finding that is ignored in most treatment approaches is that the most stressful life event precipitating depression is marital conflict. And marital conflict is also the most predictable indicator of relapse. Numerous studies have also shown that marriage itself is a risk factor for depression in women. Married men are least subject to depression as compared to single men or married women. In our project, we focus on the marital relationship because marriage is the place where the personal and the cultural meet and where gender expectations and beliefs are played out on a daily basis. Our project was set up to address the following questions. Do women and men become depressed for different reasons? Do they react differently when they are depressed? In what way do stereotypical gender beliefs and behaviors contribute to depression? Is the adaptive behavior of husbands and wives to a depressed spouse different? How does this affect their marital interactions? Is marital therapy that takes these differences into account effective? 